Hey there. So, if you see my channel or videos at all, you know I generally make videos when I'm pissed off about something or I want to inform people. Not everyone has the time, you know, to go read things all that over the place. And most people don't care about a lot of the stuff I post, which is fine. Um, I generally, as I've been watching the past three to five years, watching them push towards more gun control, I haven't been genuinely concerned about it. I like to make a video, let you know what's going on, give you a small take on it, but I haven't really been concerned or worried about it until now, and I want to tell you why. Before, when I thought we may enter a civil war, I wasn't really too concerned about it. I'm fairly well trained up. I have access to things that will help me if that were the case, including people. So I wasn't, you know, personally concerned. But the more I looked into it and the more I started thinking, if we can't resolve the current conflict between people who want guns and people who don't want them to have guns, if we can't resolve that in a win-win situation, we may end up with a win-lose situation, which is never fun in conflict resolution. Um, they, something's gotten into the heads of these people that they're going to win at all costs. So Virginia, they passed some goofy laws about gun control, and this article was sent to me by a good friend. It begins, Virginia forms active militia to protect sheriffs, citizens from unconstitutional laws. So, in a conflict resolution situation, you talk and you give and you think and you figure out where each other are at. And the people who have guns are not going to give them up. Period. Full stop. End of story. We're not going to make you go buy one. And we're not going to make you want to use them. But we're not giving up ours. So the story goes on. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it looks like... Tazewell County isn't going down without a fight. On top of calling themselves a Second Amendment sanctuary county, they also crafted a militia as well. The Virginia County has taken the movement that has swept across the state and added an element that is sure to trigger pro-gun-grabbing politicians in the state. So it's an article. I'm going to link it. It's worth reading. Um, they're not going to stand for it. So the win-win is gone, in Virginia anyway, for right now. And if either side pushes the conflict resolution to a head, there will be violence. And I don't think it will be pretty. And I don't want that. And here's my point. I, I lost track. Thank you. Um, my point is that the, the people that aren't interested in this conversation are going to suffer. And that's not fair to them. They don't deserve that. I personally think if we have any kind of conflict, let it only be the people who want to grab the guns against the people who don't want to give up the guns. Leave everybody else out of it because that's not their fault. Um, I pray. I don't. You know, I don't pray a lot for me, but I pray that this doesn't happen because if it does, we're not going to like it in any way. So, hopefully, I'm not over the edge. Um, if you have any comments, I'd like to hear them because I just think we're at a point in our history that is probably the worst case scenarios are right around the corner, and I think we can avoid them, and I hope we do. So. Again, thanks for watching.